All right. Hey, everybody. We're back with some more fun time. 76,000 ways. Um, that's right, the 76,000 in one. Uh, I'm just going to go through and see if I can find the repeats. Um, I made it all the way to number 60. And it's probably about two or three repeats so far. So we're going to continue on um, and just see what we got going on. We're starting with number... 61 with tennis ERJ. Let's check that out. Okay. All right. Uh, it's tennis. Looks, looks very familiar. Oh, wow. I just missed. Fault. That was my fault. Yeah. Really. All right. Here we go. Let's check this out. Uh, bam. Let's see if we can. Uh, uh, I've never been that great at tennis. All right. That was in. I've never been that great at tennis games. I remember uh, getting into Mario Tennis for the Nintendo 64 and uh, not doing too well. All right. Boom. Oh, come on. That was in. I'm all in. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can. Oh, nothing but net. All right. Boom. And there we go. Let's see. Uh, that was out. Well, so much for my depth perception there. <laughs> All right. Boom. Ah, uh, that right, was out. But as you can see, this is tennis. This is the NES version of tennis, pretty much. Or EWJ tennis. That was in. Okay. All right. Got cheated there. All right, here we go. That was tennis. ERJ. Number 62, pinball. Classic game right there. Um... Definitely not the NES version. Wink. All right, let's see here. Boom. All right. Yep. Just uh, pinball. Very interesting. Oh, man, come on. All right, there we go. Oh, come on. Very fun version of pinball. Also love the Atari 2600 version of it. Which I would like to do a, a gameplay of that. Oh, come on. Oh, well. But yeah, pinball. Let's go ahead and speed on through this. Uh, Lunar Ball. Something tells me that might have something to do with... Uh, Pool. Mm, stage one. Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, just gonna play it quick. Let's see here. There we go. Nice. Oh, so close. Oh, well, I got the fourth one in. There we go. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, I think I just defaulted on that. Maybe not. Cool. All right, here we go. Ah. Uh. 
Oh man. Oh well. That was Lunar Ball. E A G. All right, so now let's get that signal back in. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's see here. Can we get that back in? Let's try it again. And. Well, technical difficulties here. Hmm. Usually we get that back in the sink, but oh, there we go. Alright, Monkey YIX. Let's try that out. Hmm. I have a funny feeling. Oh, what? Wow. Really? Hmm. Very interesting. Wow. Alright, uh, now I've seen everything. Almost everything. <sighs> Good old plug in place. Yep. Alright, uh, yeah. That was Monkey YIX. Squoon, let's see what that's about. That looks like we have got a. Okay. Your old fashioned school. Phase two left, okay. There we go. Pretty cool little side scrolling uh, shooter there. Not too bad. Got turbo here too, so helps out some. Again, the D-pad's not the absolute best. I mean, I, I, I won't say it's the worst either, but, you know. Alright, that's Squoon. Puyon, okay, so we, we do know this game. Dancing away there. Oh, oh my goodness. Kind of get the idea of this game. You just kind of blow the balloons, pop the balloons there before they come up at you. There we go. Yeah. Pretty, pretty simple. Ah, but challenging. All right, that's Puyon. All right, Joust. Oh, a classic. An absolute joy to play. I love this game. And, of course, I got Turbo. It's one of my absolute favorite games of the uh, old school games. I used to play this up at the laundromat up the street where I lived as a kid. And... 
And it helps with turbo. It really does. Well, there we go with that. I just wanted to show you that quick game. Of course, joust is joust. Alright. Uh, yeah, that was cool. Brings back memories. Yeah. Anyway. Um, let's try it. Well, you know, I can't play this without a, um, you know, a um, light gun. So, just kind of, all I can do is just show you what it looks like. So. But like I said, there is like a little port where you can plug in a light gun for it. So, mm. yeah, there we go. Yeah, I quit laughing. All right, duck hunt burger time. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Hungry for a delicious burger right now. Pretty good version. Of course, I've done a, uh, I played a Texas Instruments, the TI-99, and that was a good version, too. Of course, also the Intellivision. Gotta love the Intellivision version of it. Oh. Oh. I really do enjoy these, um, arcade conversions. And there we go. Burgers for everyone. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. Excite bike. We'll play a quick, quick game of that one. So far, not really a whole lot of repeats, surprisingly. So it's got a pretty beefy uh, set of games here. So. So I got turbo, I just sped towards my bike there. You have to press the button if you don't have turbo. And of course, if you can hear it in the background, you might not. It's storming like crazy outside right now, so we got a lot of rumbling going on. Just rain like crazy. You might hear the thunder in the background there. There's a thunder on the TV too, playing these uh, these old school games. All right, that's Excite Bike. So we kind of kind of kind of know what that game's about. Let's go to Formation Z and see what that game is. All right. Uh, yep. Formation Z. Although I never really got into this game or played it. Um, wow. It's kind of almost like a... Uh, well, you hear that thunder, maybe. Just now. It's lightning and thundering like crazy right now. Um, but this game kind of reminds you of... Um, for me, anyway, kind of reminds me of uh, Moon Patrol. You just got both your... Uh, you gotta watch the stuff on the ground and in the air too. So it's kind of like a almost like almost like Moon Patrol. A few little wrinkles into the game though. Gameplay mechanics. All right. But yeah. That was Formation Z Painter SPX. Let's see what that game's about. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, this kind of looks like the what I played before, just different graphics, different backgrounds, maybe starting on a different level or 
or something. Painter X. Alright. Kind of like a little Pac-Man clone. You're just kind of filling in the maze here. Kind of similar to um, the uh, TI-99 game. Um, oh, what was that? Muncher, Munchman. Alright. Whoa. Wow, there's three guys now. Alright. Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Did I just... Oh, okay. I see the guy that's uh, messing up my paint job there. Alright, come here, buddy. Oh. Oh, well. That's Painter X. Painter SPX. Mappy! Alright, let's get Mappy out of the way real quick. Storm brewing and all. Hear that lightning. I hear the thunder. Thunder in paradise. First level done with Mappy, so we got that. Bomberman, classic game. Bomberman. It's funny. I, I, I never realized some of these games came out on NES, or they were only released in Japan or something. Like Mappy, I think I, I don't think it ever came out over here. Or the original Dick Dug, I want to say. Oh no. Oh no, I'm trapped. Oh, that's close. Nope. Ah. Oh, well. Bomberman. Urban Champion, ACT. We're at number 75. Of course, I played a hack of this. Wow. Oh, yeah. Basically, you I guess you just got to push them out on the side there. there. No. Urban Champion. Well, let's see if I can get him. He gets tougher. He does get tougher. Alright, got him. Yay, alright. Cool, cool. 
Awesome toss. All right. Next up. Well, let's see. Devil World. Let's see what that game is about. Okay. I think I remember this game wasn't released over here in the U.S. Now a little puzzle type of game. I wouldn't mind going a little bit more in-depth and playing this at some point. Yeah, interesting. Kind of almost like a Pac-Man type of game. Just different, different gameplay. All right. All right, cool. Devil World. Ah! All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Xerian. Let's see. All right, I think I played this. This might be a repeat. Yep, I believe it is. Pressing the B button, you get double shot, but you don't lose you don't lose shots at the bottom. But if you use a single shot, you see my uh, shots go down. So, but using double shots and they go back up. So. Kind of interesting little uh, take on the shooter. Go. Also, uh, I mentioned this on when I played this before. It kind of reminds you of uh, Galaxian. Also, kind of reminds you of Phoenix. Also, and Demon Attack. Kind of both of those kind of remind you of that this game reminds you of uh, those other two as well as Galaxian. So. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's see what else have we got. Galaga is another game. If I can get that signal back in real quick, let's get Galaga. And of course, it's Galaga. It's a classic. All right. I'm just going to do like a quick stage or so. Life is a little bit easier with Turbo on this controller, so that's cool. Yeah, if you notice, I haven't got the double ships. Let's see what I can do with one ship. Ah! I might have got it perfect if I would have lined up just right on that first uh, loop. Oh, well. All right, that was Galaga. Road Fighter. I think we did this one. Yeah. Yeah, Road Fighter. It's, it's a Road Fighter. Ah. Yeah, 
kind of... Oh, look at you. Alright. Played that one before. Alright, last game we will try is Star Force. It sounds familiar. I think it's a repeat. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a repeat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah, oh well. Alright, that was Star Force. Alright, we are up to number, what is it, 80? Staygate, St uh, uh, Sky Destroyer, Formation Z, Urban Champion, Macross, Space ET, Snowfield Shoot, Desert Tank, Pullion Dig Dug, Popeye, Binary Land, Mario, Arabian, Circus, Chabley, uh, milk and nuts joust looks like it's starting to repeat um, so we got about almost 80 games unique games probably about more closer to 75 maybe 74 something like that uh, we had some repeats but it looks like it's starting to repeat again uh, door door let me go let me look at door door real quick yeah yeah okay that looks familiar so basically, the 76,000 games that they're qualifying this is the extra, the different letters at the end of the name of the game. So GGY of Balloon Fights, d totally different from uh, ABX or whatever. So yeah, it qualifies as a different game, I guess. Uh, wow. Anyway, um, that will do it for this plug and play. Like I said, it looks like everything's just repeating again. Uh, so I pretty much covered what's going to be on here uh, 76,000 times. Um, but yeah, a decent amount of individual games. And some, you know, kind of start at different levels. So not too bad. But again, it's a knockoff. So eh. if, you, if you have a chance, support the uh, official releases and stuff. Uh, you know, I find these really cheap at a Goodwill or whatever for like a couple bucks or whatever. Just to kind of document it and see what's going on with that. But uh, thanks again for joining me for this particular fun time plug and play. Um, join me next time. If you think we're done with that, um, we're not. <laughs> I have another plug and play here. It's very similar. Uh, it possibly could be the same games on it. We will check that out it's the max play <sighs> yeah look at that would you pretty much the same thing as this one but uh, the difference is here with these you've got built-in light gun support so this is a Nintendo 64 controller but with the actual handle and at the end there's a light gun so yeah we will be able to play some of the light gun games on this but we will check out the the game list on this and these actually look like they work these analog sticks but uh join me next time for these and we will try them out and just see what these are about and see how many different unique games are on these this particular plug and play so thanks again for joining me and uh we are rolling right along so take care everybody and i'll see you next time